it out. <laughs> All right. So, Bait Addict saying, I went on the TRC website mm. to see the new chenille mitts. Mm-hmm. It looks like the same description from before. Could that be updated? I wanted to know the blend, updated country of origin, and what yarn it's using. So, <clears throat> here's the deal. They're still made in China. They are yeah. manufactured by our new factory. So the red, the green, and the blue are much nicer, much thicker. It's, uh, it's we have even a, a better thing. we have a better lining inside now. Much better lining. Yeah. Mind you, the old chenille mitts were great. They it were was. just a little delicate. Yeah. The new ones we wanted. We had more problems with people just them falling apart because they weren't as hardy. They were too delicate. These new ones feel more The new ones dense. are much more hardy. And if you feel like the difference between a cyclone, the cyclone, we made it strong. We needed yeah. it to be tough because it had to hold a lot of water. The chenilles don't necessarily need to hold a lot of water. They need to be able to rinse freely. The problem was people were taking their pressure washers to them and spraying them off. And the pressure washers were cutting and breaking and splitting stuff. So yeah. the new chenille mitts yeah. are much thicker, much uh, girthier. Yeah. They're, they're, and they're thicker stronger. And, and what my biggest takeaway from those was so because I use those primarily for rinseless mm-hmm. washing. I mean that's like that is my go to for rinseless. Yeah. Um, and so what I would typically do is I would have either one or two of our old chenille mitts in a bucket, yeah. um, and just kind of use them as, as needed. Now with this new chenille mitt, basically because of the um, actual you know little dreadlocks, right? Yeah. Call them that. Uh, there is more dreadlock coverage per that surface. So True. so what I mean by this is that on the old mitt, um, when those locks would fall in either one direction, you could right, see the the lining. You could still see the lining and there would be a potential, you know, p- possibility that that lining could touch the car. That lining is still microfiber. It's yep. not going to necessarily damage the car, but it's that kind of sense that you want as much plushness and you want as much pile there to prevent um, uneven pressure points. So what this new mitt does is it actually reduces that because of the larger um, yeah. little dreadlocks. And it, it feels substantially softer straight out of the wash. Yeah. Um, at, you know Whether it's new or out of the wash, it feels nicer. And then the lining is upgraded. Um, and it's just, it's just some, honestly, it's something that we probably should have done a year and a year, two years ago. Yeah, but, well, but and we, it's, we, we finally got around to it. Yeah, and, and it's nice. also one of those things we're always constantly improving stuff, and sometimes we don't tell you guys. Yeah. Um, when in terms of the mitts, we upgraded them and then we added a different color, yeah. which caused everybody to go, "Oh, wait, what? Something's oh, different. What's happening?" You know. But it could have if we wouldn't have added that color, most people probably wouldn't have thought mm-hmm. anything of it, which is yeah. kind of why we didn't write a lot of the different. The the, the Blend is about this is the same. Uh, the country of origin is the same. The difference is we've created we've created better stitching, a better liner, more coverage, thicker. Uh, it, it wouldn't even have things. been so it worth have, post. It wouldn't have been worth posting about if I didn't feel like it was a, a, a good upgrade. That's yeah. I mean, that's the reason yeah. why we put it out there on social media. Yeah, in the first because place, it because is actually. I felt like it was that good of an upgrade to say, hey. At least we're here at this point now, uh, which is much better than where we were previously. That's yeah. why we did it. And so, once again, it's evolution, not revolution. Yeah. So you're going to see those improvements like that. But it's also just like when we had the gauntlet mm-hmm. drying towel and we did the V2 and everybody's like, oh, my God, what changed? Everything changed. It's like, hold on. There are a few key differences, but it's still the same towel. If you like the first one, you'll like the second yeah. one. Yeah.